read. Watch here. A lot of people ain't like to read, but I could tell you, from your start to read, you're gonna just guide. Like, ain't even gonna be something about music. But just once you start to educate yourself on certain things, you're gonna just start to find that you guide. Because music ain't just music, music is life. And once you learn life, mm. you could ultimately learn how to maneuver through music. Mm. I ain't a businessman, yeah. I am a business. Right. You understand? Jay Z would tell you that he ain't a businessman, he's a businessman. Is either you understand that or you don't. Mm -hmm. You check it out. Operate as such. Music gonna always be dropping. He's gonna be coming. A lot of videos in the works, a lot of collaborations in the works. As I say, meet up with some people from foreign. It's just for the just for the thing to pop out. I can't say who. I ain't gonna give you too much. Just leave right. it there and that. So, so is there is there aspirations to leave St. Kitts Nevis? Because Byron Messiah had the way, you know. Byron Messiah have the blueprint. Of course. Have the floor plan. And you mm -hmm. see, I would always say that God know why. He put things in the position to happen the way that they happen. Mm -hmm. He know why Byron make it first. Mm -hmm. He know why I had to start over and revamp. He know why certain things had to be put in place that the way they are. Mm -hmm. You check it out because before anybody had boss and make it, I was a confused you that like, I was wondering like but how people do this, how people do that, how this happened, how that happened. And I believe the difference between me and Byron is just that Byron never used to overthink it, he just used to go. You just used to do. start from. And I had to. start. Exactly. One start and never exactly. stop. Exactly. And it's that because it's I always used to be in my head. And that's when I take, remember I said, I always used to be like an ideas person. Mm -hmm. I had concepts, but I never used to bring them out. And boy, I just used to me bring them out. Me and my I tolerate men. We live in a risky world, you know? Yeah. <laughs> the Perspectives podcast is brought to you by True Vibes Island Prince for the best quality t-shirts and prints. True Vibes is your only choice. The Perspectives Podcast is also brought to you by J Ink Tattoo. For clean tattoos like these, book your appointments today. Did you know about Advanced Caribbean's referral program? It's simple. Refer a friend to get a loan with the institution and upon approval of the loan, you get 50 EC dollars. That's right, 50 EC dollars. This applies to new customers only. Terms and conditions apply. You can drop by their Nevis location at Sweet 10 in the Enville building in Charleston and in St. Kitts, it's Church Street, Bastier. You can also apply online at www.advancedcaribbean.com. What are you waiting for? Get involved today. Welcome back, or welcome, isn't it? All our new, young or old, isn't it? <laughs> welcome, everybody, to another episode of the Perspectives Podcast. As you can see, we're there, in the studio settings, Nevis, I don't know. And today, today we have an episode, an interesting episode, isn't it? We have a young Sorry. artist in the building, isn't it? Oh. A man yelling out, a send kids, isn't it? Man called G4E Zevi. Yeah. Introduce that yourself to that. the perspectives family you now. No, no. G4E Zevi, yeah. Me and my dog, them bruv. I mean, come on. We need much more than that. Right, right, um, right, right. Hear yeah, that, people. So it's a bruv in high places, isn't it? That. But um, before we go into the conversation, people, remember to like, share, and subscribe. If you don't like the video, let me uh, explain it again. Can I keep on of you explain it? Now? <laughs> yes, me. How many have 100 people I watch and 10 likes? No make no sense. No make no kind of sense. But anyways, Zevi, who are you? What yes, are you sir. about? Confidence. Good vibes. Self-love. That's it right there, yeah? Three words to describe myself right there. Confidence, self love, good vibes. Good vibes. Well, three phrases, I should say. <laughs> good vibes is a phrase. <laughs> right, 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 right. So, um, how did you get beginning music? Like, how did you get your start into music? Well, to be honest, all my family are musicians and are artists. You check? Mm. Um, uncle really kick it off, Mr. World. 
Mm. Lead singer for Smallax, yes yeah, sir. All of them there. What yeah, you man. saying? Yeah, <laughs> Got to EK, what you saying? Yeah. Deep rooted in this, yeah. The father. Mm. You used to do eating. My father make it on TV, B E T and all them kind of things, but I, co- be? I come in the picture. Yeah, I'm Davy. Mm. Cut early, like early. Oh, okay, okay. I mean, okay. but I come in the picture and then you know he kinda draw back. Mm. What he rolling into being a father and then I was here, but the influence was always there like every day is just music 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 if ain't peter tash it's michael jackson if ain't michael jackson it's usher or mm. some silly indian something like music just always in my head and then my mother know mm. she prays and worship church vibes so then i'll just kind of keep knocking it and then it's like at the time i was a little youth about like eight mm. seven eight somewhere i make up in my mind oh yeah this is what i want to do music mm music so from so, so from seven and eight and what what type of music did you want to do all along because mr world is a wireless soca soca wilders yeah ruka suits a pep but pep yeah. call it that pep mm-hmm. yeah man so what kind of music did you want to do i was always into the pop and r&b space because that was more so what influenced me heavily mm. michael jackson especially like that's my creme de la creme that's the top that's my icon mm. top far so that they really hit me and stick with me heavy mm. second hand that was two packs so you already know like you like michael but then the attitude of Tupac is just more Suited masculine you yeah, check yeah. so it's like okay then i like with michael jackson going in terms of his mindset but i mean come on his physical attitude that that i would never match with me Right. Imagine me look on the floor. Oh, that's pretty. No, 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 no. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> but hey, you, you really gotta watch it, yeah. Yo, I did that thing. Ask you, Michael, did you fuck the pit to them? <laughs> I didn't. You could. I didn't. You could. Uh, you know. You, you know. You know. Come on, man. You know. No, no, man. That they can't be me. That they can't be me. You understand? <laughs> All right, so so you were heavily influenced by hip hop. At what point pop did you hip hop? Well, yeah. pop, hip hop, you yeah. don't know the American type of music. But at mm. what point did you make your first song? Four years ago. Mm. So from nine to f- four years ago. Yeah, because that was it, it took you that long to make a a, a a song. Yeah, because this is the thing now. Uh, when i growing up i singing all the time you know, like i singing like anybody want me to sing like a school fee or something anybody mm. want me to sing i sing but i never took it upon myself to say i know how to take music seriously it's like you know what you want to do but you don't know where to take that step mm. and you don't know like saying kids don't have an established music industry so it's like to say you want to sing okay that's easy enough but where are you going what studio are you going by i didn't even know what the hell is a producer mm. I ain't know nothing about the music space. I just not like sing. So you never, you never actually take a little laptop and try record something, cause that's how most people would start. I was younger, I mean, even had that. I'm gonna be honest with you. Mm. I got my first laptop in high school. Yeah. You know when yeah, labor yeah. was in power before. You know they give out the little laptops and what's not. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. when I get my first laptop and guess what I do with the laptop? Mm. Play a game. That's all. That's all. Play a game. Game. That's all. Yo, you that's all them game. laptop they do. <laughs> Damn. If you ain't no boy hell or a fuck, you ain't saying nothing. The whole block would reach up on the class just to see you play hell or a fuck in a tournament with everybody, dog. I'm most wanted. I'm most wanted. You see, you know what's going on. That's showing you. That's all them. That's all me do with the computer, man. I tell you. Like. Government, that's all those computers did. No, <laughs> no, 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 no. Don't tell them like that. Don't tell them like that. No. No. <laughs> no, that's all they, I do they, in terms of no, them, 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 leisure. The com- no, the computers actually helped the students. But anyways, four years ago, you recorded your first song. What was that first song? A song called Flirt with Saf. No, mm. actually, that song is trash. Don't even, don't even ask mm. nothing about that. Give me two lines, give me two lines out there. Give me two lines out there. Why? You put me on this part, but okay then. I don't wanna waste your time, not tonight, baby. I just wanna say so. Look at all that. I, I wanna <laughs> flirt. <laughs> but yo, yeah. really and truly, how that come about? Like, I mentioned the fact that I wanted to sing to one of my classmates, and that was coincidentally 
whiskey ra asho a vicious styles mm. and he was like yeah hey, man you come make a me you come make a tune that guy you know i used to sing all the time so he was like but yeah you come make a tune this and that and then he just kind of hit me like my ex back in time she used to tell me like i i think you should try singing yeah but who me know me a shy guy like And I really wanted me name to be out there like that yet. I was just comfortable just settling just for the school fears and what's not. But then when it was kids said, yeah, I come make that happen. I was like, yeah. And so yeah, at lunchtime I went to the merch shop with Dagger, ITYC. That was the first time I met the whole of the Vicious Styles crew. Mm. And boy, I was there as well. You check it out. But the rest, man, them was just on their own meditation. See, I still can remember me a fresh youth. Like, the man don't know me from Adam Gumtree. So it's like, who he be why he come here to do mm. but quickly start quickly the man come out of the little element and then he was like who you be name no who i be and so astro said by yeah the man want to do a tune yeah i was like yeah mm. man asked me to do a little thing the man here why he had and then from that the man give me the coordinates i reached down by the trap house and then i met the little draft saf was there at the time saf was like well, let me happen on that day and then that was it Mm. Oh my at the time this song come out I think in this song hot yeah this song hot yeah feel good Only come to find out after a while about that the kind of ass yeah I mean I like I never hear about that the too much that at the ass yeah <laughs> <laughs> completely rubbish but how you mean but I so you go you can't be an artist mm. if you never make trash me by like trust me it go always happen mm. it either happen when you start or you gonna happen at some point in your career but you're gonna make something <laughs> I'm trash I'm gonna tell you boy Anyways, anyways, I mean, I didn't think that. Anyways, but but are you still mm. in back to the conversation? So from that first song, where did it lead? From the first song, I started to get acquainted with the vicious styles man, them. Mm. and the Hawaii man. Them at a point that was Pringle, mm. and Saf himself was a Hawaii artist. So Saf and Pringle, I started to associate myself more with them. You know, mm. when they go certain places, I would tag along. Not like to say. I was set for performing or anything, but just to see what going on. When they went virtual, I tag along to see how they was doing things and what's not. But for that, I was there. Like, yo, when I went on the stage, you see me serenading woman by like, yeah. But most of me just a ladies man with that, yeah. So, mm-hmm. so yeah. speak to me about ladies, the ladies. How the ladies treat you in a them time there? Uh, right now, that era, that era, Saint Kitts Nevis music. They were talking about the vicious styles and. 2018 by, byron messiah and mm. saf them and even dino um, dino vicious style so but the, the, the other one named rest him soul god rest him soul him name with Japo, javrel oh javrel yeah like them you the in a them time they be a heartbreak them are sing about yeah isn't me were you heartbroken by one of them wicked girl then because so it sounds like saying kids full of them you know <laughs> well hey They got a little meme comparing Patrick SpongeBob and Squidward. I think I was the, I think I was the SpongeBob at that point in time. Eh? Everybody else had done advanced to the Squidward level. Me was SpongeBob, so me. Banana, I'm not taking so. Actually, me was young and motivated. Me was happy dog. So yeah, you know, I'm singing to the woman them. SpongeBob, I'm back to you, boy, my friend. I know the mentality as in like the, the motivated and the happy and you know just, just excited for everything. You check. Hmm. So everybody has sing about heartbreak. Me never experienced a heartbreak like that. So me now went go there with that woman. Me think me got so much more. You know. Watching this no, year, man, they know you. Yeah. Who want hear that story, them father? Bye. Give me that story. <laughs> Give me that story, them father. What go on? What go on? What, okay, what, what go on then? Long story short, bye. I deal with them. I was playing hero. You check. I thought I had a cape. And I stand I was playing a little hero. You check it out. So me try save somebody who no wanted to be saved and i get hot on that you check so so you get hurt more no you can't just have breeze she bite me so. to banka han chow me down put me down for years but me didn't feel good bye yeah, bye but me had to oh. me had to me had to see oh. somebody like oh like so me not understand but you see <laughs> yeah yeah breeze over the thing yeah give me some <laughs> politics business you know, like the politics thing explain to me like What what one in terms of oh you find out she 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 she, she cheat on you like where really, you, you catch her in the act you go search her phone you know, what, what this 
first time I find out. Well, first time that means you're only part time. Bumbo club. No, 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 no. Okay, yeah, let me say this. Way. Let me, let me say. It, it. Let me say it this way. The first time that I gain knowledge of the happening, mm. somebody from away message me to let me know. I ain't like you, man. Man, that's the next woman, eh? She message me name. I ain't like you, man. I was like, why? That's my best friend, she must say. I was like, why? Wait. She was like, Zavi. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Actually, she live here. She had live here at the time, but she away now. You check it out. <laughs> but I understand. Like, okay, watch it. That's why you're confused with your fuck now. Okay, let me see. 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 Hola, hola. I'll give them a name. I'll wait, give them wait, 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 wait. Yeah, wait, wait. There we go. Because I know it's a job or two long, you know. That's you have a name. female best friend. Yeah. Let me call her. Shanta. The female best friend. Let me call her Chantel. You check it out. Let so, me call wait, the ex. Wait, wait. So, so the female best friend. Chantel just never gave a friend. Chantel just never want to give a friend. So she, Chantel friend zone. Yeah. No, Chantel come from since man small. You check. So it's like grow from small come right up. So. Alright, so Chantel never gave a friend. No man. No, 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 no. I got, I got, I got to admit to that. I can't tell you upon that, man. No, man. No, no man. Chantel never gave a friend. Yeah. Because yeah, that's the only way you and her friend. You know? Yeah, never man. We, we never watch each other that kind of because two man was like from small come up. Yeah. So that's yeah, just kind of get left. Continue friend. upon the show. Chantel oh, yeah, so tell Chantel you. tell me that she ain't like Tara. Mm. Yeah, check it out. I want to know Chantel what's going on. What happened to Tara? Mm. She says, Zavi, how sure you be about Tara? I'm like, uh, she good as far as I could see, like, nothing going wrong right now, you check? So, I want to, like, what the vibes? Mm-hmm. Every now and then, my eyes are going by Tara house, me and Tara kick it, man, you know? Yeah, I want to know what the vibes be, I want to know what's going on. Mm. She said, Zavi, Tara, boy, you mean, like, Yo, me no know, every man know this feeling, every person know this feeling. You know when you get some bad news but your heart sink? Mm, you want to shit up yourself and can't shit. fuck, but, but me run in the bathroom, dog. How you feel? <laughs> but I still shit but up yo, myself. Yo, me run in the bathroom, I don't want to go on, dog. I'm like, yo, what you tell me? You give me the evidence, boy, and then from there, but me just hang up the phone. Mm. I didn't even know what to really do, but me just, me just, I'm, I'm, I'm flip for a while, dog. I went to my message to her, I asked Tara, what if it's be Tara can cock some quick fucking lie? But yeah, I mean, I me may believe it because I don't see everything, but Tara can cock a lie. I'm like, you know, I play the game, King. Just see how long you can wait it out. You check, don't, don't fuck up yourself yet. Mm. And no, then. I feel like I don't have to tap me. Tara convince you. Tara no, convince no, 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 no. I tell you, she, she showed me the evidence I was, I was seeing why it was. So it's like, so you see what? What you see? I. No, like for real, what you see? Girl fuck up herself and go send nudes to some partner by. My partner was connected to Chantel boyfriend. And then Chantel boyfriend and go talk. I saw them expose expose each other. Aye, man, man, aye, man. Chantel boyfriend and go talk and tell Chantel, but not for Chantel to come tell me, but she don't know she had my best friend, so she gonna talk. So when we find out that they're by me, me broken. Me let the story ride out and see what gonna happen. Mm. Then Tara come admit to me like a couple of weeks later. So say I got something to tell you. I don't know what you're gonna tell me that you had that you cheat, that you do whatever for real, no? Mm. She started to laugh, but <laughs> so you know makes me just about what fuck you talk I said, but I hang up the phone and cool, but then after that the bar, my head just went in a different space to check all the artist thing and so. I ain't even really want to meds it too hard because this is like yo. Me done in the public, oh, you do me something like that, then now. Me know how St. Kitts people be. St. Kitts and Nevis as a collective. They might be free, can you dog? Like, St. Kitts and Nevis people ain't to play with. Like, people think the crowd down here is a joke. Ain't no joke. When them men start and you only take one person, yeah? Mm. The crowd gonna follow something like, yo, how me gonna deal with this, yeah, boy? So, fuck. Heart broken. But yeah, boy. Feel it, feel it. Relationship just slowly cut and fade off from there and then. Mm. Girl fuck by your right to win. Bye bye, I'm not a lot. I don't want to fuck, fuck you fucking uh, at the end of the day. I want you to find out, bro. Yeah, I'm going to tell you, make it fuck up. Mm. But I'm going to make a song. What that th- was my heartbreak song now. Let me hear the heartbreak song. Give me a piece of heartbreak song. But that's the name Camo. Give me a piece of Camo. 
She said, she said, she said that I ain't deserve nobody. Cause she tell me, say, yeah. Tell me, you, you ain't deserve nobody to love you. Yes, I tell you that. Me say me, fuck. Dog. <laughs> Dog. Let's say your heart be a great. Me say, heart fucking break. Imagine you bite me if I had do something I would understand. Come and fuck your bite me and then gonna tell me me ain't deserve nobody to love me, dog. What maybe? Sin? Fuck ya. Yeah. yeah, dog. Make this song. Song come out by big controversy. People I make me and all kind of thing. And then that was my moment to really capitalize on the whole heartbreak thing. But I turn on like real life hit me in between there. You check like depression, my body. Like, I like that was too much for me to take on. So I just take a step back from the limelight and just cool. Barely release music, hop off the media entirely. Like I was in a, I was in a wicked space. Me done hard already. Me were harder than this. Just to show you, like, me stop eat them kind of thing that I me feel fuck up. That's when I said, "Bye, heartbreak real, man." The next girl come around. But yeah, man. She, she, she. Now this one yeah, is the convincing one. Bye, bye, bye. You're my family quiet over here. Yeah, but me realize you know not nothing, man. I'm meant like. Yo, but me remember my time, like. But, but, <laughs> but I'm them, swam. Them girl are wicked, them wicked, them wicked. I don't know why they. Nah, but, I but, don't know. Like, my father. Yeah, so, so talk, continue, my G, continue. Ah, yeah, the next Might one come round, no? The next one come round. This was the one that convinced me now. This one was the little manipulator, smooth operator. Yeah. But yeah. She come through, really make me believe, like, but yeah, different from this and that, and da da da, and then. Yeah. A couple months later, I settled in with she. Things was good. Because for me now, I find that they're like a little comfort in you, check. Mm. Somebody come around and they didn't really see me as no fucking clown, you check. So I, I find a little comfort in that day and then. She coerced me into, into settling in. Let me say that. Girl, give me a fuck up ultimatum, yeah. Mm. I'm still a little traumatized. This girl talking to me every day, but only for like two weeks, three weeks. The girl called me for one. Funny I was mood. like, they was like, watch you know. Is either you there with me? I ain't got nothing at all to do with me. Me like, yeah, you fuck up, dog. And they, they kind of touch me either. Me there with you, I mean, it's not with you. Well, me say, okay then. Me say, what you about? Me there with them for you. Mm. Now things going good for the first couple of months, but. Honeymoon stages. Yeah, man, after a while. Well, the girl start to get dark. Mm. Every day, girl want to argue like that. Sometimes me just, Midnight me just a wake operation. up in the morning. Me just a wake up in the morning. Me just want cool that. Me not brush my teeth. Good mouth stink. No fuck. And the girl like start argument. Me like yo, what happened? What happened? Fuck yeah. Couple months pass. Me I deal with that. But then me realize like man, give each other social media check. Cause she didn't really too comfortable with me being a public figure. So me wanted to show like what you. You do what you want. You check it out. You could go on it. You could check message. You could do whatever you want to do, but do not go talk to nobody. You check it out. Do not go do something like that. Do what you want to do, but don't go talk to nobody. Really, she eyes on my Facebook and me don't be punchy one. Mm. So just like the intuition, you know, your gut. So you go check she Facebook. Feel her in your belly. Yeah, man. She deep down on part there. Go check she Facebook and see mm. what's going on. Because I never used to go punchy Facebook. I didn't really like mention yeah. it like. I'm just like, bye, me, me, one zone, Mr. Let's try heal, see him still. Mm. I'm just like, go check your Facebook. She know I'm the same fucking thing. I talk to her, kind of, man, I try to get her kind of validation, I send pictures and all kind of thing. I'm like, not nude, nude, but, you know, some suggestive pictures and all kind of thing. I'm like, what you know? Make your idea with the fuck here. She get lias. Last time I was off, this time I get fuck up in my head, my body. She get laced, no fuck. What, no fuck. But then after a while, it's like, uh, the softness in me still kind of come out, come around, and like, why? You check it out, like, why? Back to back, they're like, they want to kill me, dog. If they had a noose on me fucking neck, they would have done pull it, me dead. Like, what the purpose? You come and you coerce me, make me there with you just to go fuck around yourself. Like, what going on with you? You understand? But then, from that, I just kind of work out by the relationship thing for me like that day, yeah? And from there, I just cool on it. You check it out. Like, I want to talk to people, I talk. You don't know, sex not really too hard to find. So, it ain't really nothing hard to just message somebody. That, 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 that. You know, you set up the link and then you go through. 
Once me got that, let me go there. But the love thing, me buy, the greatest desire is to receive love, but the greatest fear is to give it. Because you gotta be careful who you give to, especially in this niche, especially in this world now that's full of crisis, that you gotta be careful because a woman could make you a break, you know, no matter how tough of a man you be, no matter how rich you be. Spitting Billionaires don't come down man spitting in because the of woman here. So, who is me? It's spit bomb, buck lad, man yeah, spitting for father, father, man. Sp- a therapy, my day. Blood you know how we go, yeah. But yeah, man, that's a little therapy. backstory behind the relationship, and so yeah, yeah, yeah. Not yeah, much yeah, going yeah, on, no. yeah, yeah. So, so, so right now, no relationship. Ah, uh, piece of stone which part they are there. Right now, I'm talking to a, I'm talking to a woman yesterday, right? Me tell her straight up. The next are the woman who actually get me to settle down now. Are the woman who convinced me that she's a good woman. But God himself makes she from my rib. And put on that the next to me because me by skeptic body. Any little red flag me see by me. No. No one. I don't want the explanation. I don't want it. If me see you, if me see you watch her, if me see you watch a man's shoes to hat. Yeah. You're insecure, my father. Yeah. You need some therapy. But let me let me stay some. You know. Let me stay some about me. Watch you. <laughs> it better me release before anything happened to me that me release after something happened to me. You understand? You don't care. <laughs> <laughs> but hey, bye, guys. That's Jew. I'm afraid of God. Bye, guys. That's Jew. No, father. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <Yo. laughs> Yo, no, but a real man, Zag. I be a carry clad, everybody, I'll see that. But hey, I feel a joke. Yo, nobody have carry clad, Barry. Let me see a phone now. Let me see a playlist now. Love, I be a carry clad. Mama, can I youth? No, but. Dag. You're a 40 in a youth. Rough, you know? Rough, my boy. When say if a girl, if a girl shoes, girl even look on a man shoes, bro. That's it for you. Yeah, but you say you want me watch me shoes them. Watch me fucking foot. Watch me face see how me set. You understand? <laughs> watch me. Don't watch nobody watch me. Understand? From you watch somebody that mean well. <laughs> you eye them cut on. And if you eye them cut on, we mean I'll get till that on. You understand? <laughs> <laughs> yo, they are spit, yo. They are spit, bro. Hey, Bumbo if you are watching the next man's shoes, that means your item could turn. And me now wait till your item turn for me to feel fuck up. Me a dash you before the turn. You understand? Yeah, Watch you know. spitting from. Me to see some youngsters mm. talk about they love this one. Me to see some youngsters post up this one. Mm. But I see them thing that I just said, bye. I had my time. Your foot gone broke just now. Gotcha. Let me, let me, let me be honest, dog. This high school to, to big people relationship thing. But that day is a, is a little miracle that's going on. And in today's day and age, that the, that the more than a miracle that they don't happen, chances are you're young. You're going to find somebody. Yeah, man. She or he going to pique your interest. Talking from the perspective of man or woman. She are he gonna pique your interest, but what? We still a girl, we still a mature. So eventually, at some point, you might see somebody who got it more than your partner. Mm. Then you gonna just walk out. I want to some fun, and that's why a lot of people like right now they, see, they just want see, fun. If we could, yo, if easy, cause <laughs> <laughs> yo, cause I met yo, you met dog, you feel it, you feel it, cause, cause, cause but let me tell you this today, if you don't make God start talking, I did. <laughs> you feel it, dog. You feel it. You better than if you don't make God start. You think me hurt? If you never make God, you bump buck like wicked. You feel it, dog. You feel it. But anyways, um, for the real men still in them, how me really feel as teenagers, you're not supposed to into relationships and so on. If you have a little friend where you know exploring your sexuality, you know, have some fun, mm. just protect on yourself and. You know what I mean? Oh, teenage teenage years, especially for, for for these little young females, fam. Teenage years are not for relationships. Just a lot of fun. And a, a, a lot of what happened to them big man, you know, you know, them twenties, late twenties, thirties, some even forties predator, some bumbuckler, 
Yeah, man. Rinse out them the same as still. The man them, the man them take up them feet, them them look a girl yeah, and feel like them can own them. And sure. some of the time them breed them and them feel a sense of entitlement to them and that leads to abuse. Did you know about Advanced Caribbean's referral program? It's simple. Refer a friend to get a loan with the institution and upon approval of the loan, you get 50 EC dollars. That's right, 50 EC dollars. This applies to new customers only. Terms and conditions apply. You can drop by their Nevis location at Sweet 10 in the Enville building in Charleston and in St. Kitts, it's Church Street, Bastier. You can also apply online at www.advancedcaribbean.com. What are you waiting for? Get involved today. These young females, fam, they're, they're not in any position mentally mentally for nothing serious them don't even know what what, what them actually like yet facts they don't know what them look for in a man yet and the biggest influence behind all that there too social media and them look for social media fam right Remember? now social media got a stigma and i know you could i know you could attest to this Just so, social media got a stigma where it's like toxic masculinity versus radical feminism like yeah dark woman versus man me just like I, I I can't cool like that. You really get, got some feminists out there here, man. And these young girls you know, just come up with that kind of mentality. Like I feminists. don't need a man. They're not feminists, fam. A scunt. A scunt. Real talk, fam. The internet, fam. The internet. The, yo, social media have these these young young women messed up in a them brain, fam. But I really Shit. because listen, them are listen to Cardi B. Make the stallion. All of them women. Yeah. Promiscuous ladies, but all no, of them got a husband. They got husbands. Oh. You understand? All of them got they a got husband. Husbands. These them are, are married sing women. what they sing. Make the money and go home to their husband. Now, you know, as a young woman, impressionable, taking what they're saying. Hey, before you're not your 40, 50, run down, realize to yourself, well, nobody love me. Well, all the people them that love you, you fuck them up, dog. Because you were having fun, you were living off the words of these women who done set for life and that kind of fuck up you're like yeah but you can't really do nothing about it you just go hope and say like but yeah i hope in the near future that people catch themselves because i could tell you confidently humanity ain't know why you do that like the man them ain't even know why they don't like the woman them and the woman them ain't know why they don't like the man them woman i try to be more man than man I'm and man i try to get more in touch with the feminine side so it's like man i try to be woman man i try to be woman from legit but yeah, man, you could say it like that, nah. like, me just hope, like, at some point, even if in this generation, the generation after, could learn from what going on now, because, must be a nonsense, dog. Man ain't better than woman, and woman ain't better than man. Man has switched gender, woman has switched gender, me like. You can't switch gender. In the head, they want to feel like they could switch gender. And just, then just attack. I think it's weird. Rap, yep, yeah, and then just attack. That's all. Yes, man. But back to the music now. Yeah, man. So after them heartbreak, they, because it's clear now. And anytime them artists, yeah, and for the artists, they want to listen. Because I know no, listen. No, no, I watch too. I want to hear what the man them have to say from about that era of music. They, because if you listen to the songs, the one clear and obvious thing is heartbreak. Mm. Out of St. Kitts Nevis. At one point, I feel, me, me used to feel like, I wonder if. Just because them see it work for Byron, them do it. You know what I mean? Like, I wonder if I put on, but it's like it seemed to be real. It seemed to be real. Real out here, my boy. Real. Like, tough, real. tough, pan the, the, the youth, them. Real out here. Because, yo, the mentality of them, them young women, you from. Yeah, a girl want fuck everybody and still fuck me. You can't. It's impossible, darling. That's why, you know, me kind of desensitized to it. Like, I just kind of like, actually, I make a confidently say, no, if somebody got a talk about they're going to deal with me, just to go fuck around me, I just be like, huh? David. Uh-huh. You know what I mean? So you go. So life so go. You know what I mean? So, David. <laughs> but, anyways, back to the music still, Zane. <clears throat> mm. So, 
you know after them early stages eh, we see you fall off in terms of not even, not even, not even to use fall off but like you was you you was as prevalent back then as you are now what happened during that period from starting to where you're at now because even to look on your youtube i don't see much songs on it so what happened during those periods period of time well, as i said depression take over i take them down because a lot of them things i make was in the name of quote unquote love you check and me really wanted nothing to do with that day, so me, me take them down i'm just cool and then it's like in between there mm. i master my craft for music like yeah i take a back seat from the public eye but that, i mean i wasn't doing nothing Mm. I still sit there and I practice my craft. I do some things. I make mistakes. I learn from mistakes. I come back, try again. Just, just keep up in my skills, them and then. You now me myself had some demons I had to fish out. You check it out. So I work on that, you. Know? I make sure I, you know, cool my mind. Do what I had to do. I had issues with a certain person. Which person? And he was and he was one sided. Let me tell you that yeah, because of something that happened, and it was basically miscommunication. What what kind of issue? That? Just more so in the sense, I thought the person, Who was the person? didn't rate me. Who's the person? Come on, man. No. I mean, <laughs> well, I mean, we don't hash it now, so it's like it ain't really no yeah, problem it, it, if me it, do well. It is the past. But okay then. Like My soil. Mm. When I had first start. Mm. You know, like we had some miscommunication in the terms of who I was. You check. Mm. Yeah, he let me know. In terms of what? In terms of, okay, the labeling of Hawaii. Mm. Like who from Hawaii, etc. We had some issues in terms of it was miscommunicated because he come through me from a middleman. So ain't like he specifically tell me, but me just coming into music, so me still quote unquote glad man. You check some me, me take it and run with it and then he had to break it down and let like, me know. In like, terms of what? Like me not understand. Like, what? okay, so you see how vicious styles was eating. Mm-hmm. And then I tell you who I had artists like Saf and Pringle, etc. Mm-hmm. Well, somebody, a middleman, me ain't gonna call that person the name now. Mm-hmm. But a middleman come in between and tell me, but yeah, you are who I know, yeah. This and that, 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 that. Me say, yeah? I was like, yeah. So, like, me now as a glad man, me take it up and me run with it. Mm-hmm. But then my say, I had to come and tell me, like, hey, this is a label. They saying YB, etc., etc. Like, me, if that person got their own thing going on, but me had no knowledge and then. Me now being young, you know, I start to feel away. I check, I had feel bad because I was like, I'm well, so high and I got me now, like, I'd feel a kind of way. Because all that you come in between of the whole heartbreak thing. And so, so it's like, things just knocking me left and right. Me want to, like, yo, when I gonna catch a break? Yeah. So, yeah. me start to feel away. And then, you know, me take it up on myself. Me had that year in my heart. And then, last year, in the same breath, you say, once you're too the only reason I'm singing right now. Because mm. me went to him. Talking to me, G Chelsea, because she said, Where is she there right now? But we were talking to her, and I'm learning, like, me got that there for my chest, but I don't want it on my chest. Like, my want to let go that there. She was like, It's better you just go talk to him and let him know, like, you got his number, why you do? Mm-hmm. You got his socials, why you do? Mm-hmm. I said, well, Yeah, man, let me take it up on myself, be a man, and go do this. You check it out. Me went to him, and let him know what the issue was. I let him know how I went about dealing with the issue, etc., etc. Man, he had a good talk. You check it out. Man hash out whatever, then he let me know straight up. But yeah, it wasn't a bad intention behind it. He didn't know. So me been feel about it and so and he apologized, me apologize. To man a man, you check it out. Then from there and then he gave me some advice too. And the advice is what gave me the drive to come back to music. You check it out. Mm. The man let me know. Remember you playing chess. You understand? In this life, winners have no tears to cry for losers. If you're losing, sub it up and keep pushing. Because when it's your time to win, you're gonna get a ball to fuck out. You check it out. So if you're losing right now, sub it up, my boy. Your time gonna come. And then from that, you no, know, just like, okay then, I know what I need to do. You check it out. I tell him, well, now I could release this off my chest. I could do things the right way, my way. And then from there, works. And that was it. And that's how I hear today. One of your 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 coming back out to music was a rap song. Zin coming to sturdy. Sturdy. <laughs> it was it was a rap song. Mm. Zin, why did you choose to come back as a rapper instead of a dancer or artist? 
as much as I like dancehall, back then I was doing a, f- a mix and infusion of dancehall and Afro, and I didn't really like it. Like it didn't feel like me. Yeah, because I feel like all I know about then was as all, all of the journey there, from the south to the Dina to vicious style. All I know sound like sound like one. Like I can't, I couldn't distinguish between, oh no, all I want to have the, the same you sound. had the same there. sound. Yeah, yeah, like that kind of, you see me, cause even the other day me here when I hear one of them, I don't remember who, like, they used the Pansensia program and I'm a, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a release a song and I said, hold on, that they are Byron, I say from 2018, <laughs> that's a whole Byron, I don't know, but it was a, it was a song. What him do? Mm. Is it me? So that sound there, like back then, it was it was like that. Yeah, that was an issue. It was like a one voice, one song kind of voice. Yeah, I yeah. didn't like it. I used to feel like yo, that ain't me. Mm. So I, when I take the break, it was good for me because I could go and experiment and find out what I like and so. And then I really had to take a liking to the hip hop, mm. the drill scene in particular. Yeah, and I yeah, could do yeah. that very well. But then. It's like after I start doing it, I also had to watch the negatives as much as I was watching the positives. Who are these drill artists? You check it out. What they about? Mm. Realize these drill artists is criminal first and then artists after you. Yeah? Mm. And me no no. No want the music and saying it's too small to go talk about you yeah, much up yourself in them kind of things. Not ain't take nothing for your three points to get tech. You understand? The other day me hear that two people are fighting and then somebody lose their life over a pen. If a pen could solidify if you live or not to see the next day. Why is music? Music is energy. Yeah. You're carrying that. So it's like I had to take a shift. And even though I do sturdy, you realize it's not about badness. It's more good vibes. Operating on a higher frequency. It's good vibes. You check it out. But then I had to watch the play. I said, if I go to drill, this ain't going to make it. I'm going to be honest with myself. This ain't going to make it. In a sen- especially being in a St. Kitts Nevis. Because exactly. in St. Kitts Nevis, is dancehall or soca? Soca. If we come with drill, we say, we say Mad Stone it try it. It worked for one song or, or two. And but after a while, it ain't gonna really sustain it, itself. There's, yeah, because there is nothing behind it. In turn, and when we say there is nothing behind it, saying it don't have a backstory for it. It, it all right. Don't hit. Saying it's a nervous right. way in the islands that got no backstory for drill. No, we have a dancehall story that's mm. building. Isn't me? We have a, a soca story that has been has built. Been built. Soca calip- has been built. We have a calypso story that has, has been, been built, built. Exactly. and is almost dying now. But that's a different story for a different interview. Calypso most are dying now just because uh, dance are taking over. Not necessarily. Well, calypso, kind of. calypso dying because of the systems that be and how them set it. In my opinion, Calypso is dying because them don't they, they never had a contingency plan so in terms of to carry on the legacy of calypso so every year these older folks won calyps the calypso competition mm. young people young people aspired to win the juniors mm. but when it come to the senior you're not seeing a young young person winning nobody rising to that next level I see what you young mean. people need something to look up to you know fam I mean, you That's, think about it. Yeah. I only had no, I only had no one young person doing calypso. When you really think about, but I see what you're saying for real. Yeah, cause me only had no Suki to be doing calypso, and he from Nevis. And, and where is Suki today? Up, but where is Suki today? Me what name. what what is Suki doing? My name. That's as the Suki, only young person I had as, no as doing Suki, calypso. Has so. Suki ever won a a, a a a a senior? A senior? No. That's what I try to show you. And. I don't hear him young boss around in the junior in the that, junior division, but when it comes to senior, yeah. no. The conversation here yeah, has have to be had with somebody inside of the calypso side of things. Isn't it? But back to back to the dancehall vibes. Yeah, man. Man. Oh. And the music vibes, your your journey. Okay then. So after yeah. sturdy, mm-hmm. man, yeah, I don't make I had make a lot of connections and so when it comes to the drill scene. But as I say, I had to watch the negatives and see what it really takes to be a drill artist. First of all, I in the wrong geographical plane. Mm-hmm. In the wrong place. Mm-hmm. Secondly, I'm a bad man, dog. Like when it when it come to badness, like and keflak them level and so them and I shoot bird for style and about the recklessness. Like if somebody trouble me, then yeah, I gonna defend. But to go say you just rambunctious and troubling people just so that I mean, someone was like, 
forget that revamp again let me see what we could come with and we went back to the drawing board with experience this time and then dance all hit it yeah dance all hit it and yeah, then because it's like even, it feels them and all that was around me yeah yeah that yeah. was like boy this is the one thing you didn't want when you sound good i do it but what the fuck what you do yeah but be, just do it yeah so speaking of the dance hall the song the brav mm. how did you come up with the song because i think that that's the the introduction to the dance hall scene for you that's the introduction to the new version of me well mm. the new well yeah the new yeah, version man. of you brav it was inspired heavily on jamaican culture so yeah big up the area then because trust me brav is a jamaican slang there. dj you understand yeah. You mix, yeah. you mix brag and show if you get brave so i mean that's a jamaican slang right there me was into a lot of i was listening a lot of dance hall because i wanted the dance hall to come out mm. but now i had to refine myself how i gonna do this thing mm. it's not a dance hall it's not like a cartel la bass boy run mm. javel was on this side i was listening i was around my peers them soft them and so like the music just hitting then i was hearing afro in between and so and i was like okay then cool it's time for me to try something now i think i don't do a little research time for me to put it to action then me just went on youtube i mean i know i set me this then me just went on youtube me just look up beats mm. and from the time i hear the beat for graph i was like okay that's it mm. just went to him my bad minute took no time as me went to him me just whoop whoop everything was just done mm. gt you now that's my producer engineer and cousin as well man teach me how to do a little thing with the music because with the down period that i was having a lot of things was going on behind the scenes as well that i can't really speak on but a lot of things was going on behind the scenes and i had to make sacrifices and whatnot i had to ask almost begging in a sense to do music still because mm. trust me it's like it was a it was a dark place you check it out mm. And GT said he gonna teach me a couple things just in case he ain't got the time to do this and that. The man teach me how to do a little mixing and mastering. And then me just did uh, Everything you hear from Braff, me had to do it myself. Me had to mix it myself. Me had to master it myself. Mm-hmm. I am a graphic designer. I got my own business. So I had to make the visuals and the cover myself. Mm. I had to do everything myself. So it's almost, it's almost completely independent besides for the beat. For the beat part of it and the video part of it, it was almost completely independent. Mm. So, yeah, man, I was I was glad to see so, the reception. So, again. speak speak to me about the video now because we see a visual for it. Mm. We have we have mixed feelings about it. To be honest with you, mm. it's a good song. It's a great song. A song with potential. Like you could see, like I could hear that song playing anywhere and getting a reaction. Mm. but the video now um i kind of have mixed feelings about it feel like the video the video was shot well but edited poorly in my opinion in terms of it had too much too much going on like too much things around effects yeah too much effects on it but that 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 uh, like that at the Mm. least that at the least but um why did you choose to to do a video like that well this goes back to Byron again. Mm. Byron was letting me know release videos. Right. Once I go back in 2018, and so everybody understood that we wasn't financially equipped. Mm. So everybody couldn't afford a video. Mm. But now the video is starting to come out of saying it's the audience want to see why you're living. Yeah, the audience want to see see the experience. They just want to hate. Yo, you see, Byron Messiah from Smart. I tell it, are you there? from from inception him had he had something special he had the concept because he had it he, he had it from and trust me if you are listening to byron yeah you are you in the right direction because i remember when before byron messiah the standard of music videos in st kitts nevis was basically nothing it was like, poor it's, it was poor from our scale of one to ten it was like a two three it was a it was a one it was a one <laughs> honestly a big artist like no for real check 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 the check the facts because yeah, a fox me the you know mm. is it me i'm not biased a one artist me biased towards Ronnie and it's no secret is it me 
it's no secret so we buy a store as the joy the joy can't go right hey. but anyways <laughs> <laughs> anyways as me say zain <clears throat> When it come out of music videos, it was it was a to the standard day. And when Byron come come upon scene and you see the type of music videos he did, it raised the bar. So mm-hmm. from there now, you could have got dropped back the bar below that. Is me? So continue. Yeah man. Man, he paved the way he let me know, yo. Do videos. Mm-hmm. Even because even though I'm a graphic designer, so to release music would be easy if I was still doing just, just audio visuals. Yeah, yeah. But he was like release videos you check it out and me now in my head i know okay this is gonna take a little extra sacrifice to know because that means now i got up my image and i also got to up in terms of the investment toward the music directly because now i can't just pay for studio time and a beat now i got to incorporate the fifa music video and music videos could run you to a thousand dollars a thousand five two thousand mm. depending on the quality you want depending on what you want video is expensive so i was like okay then mm. instead of punking up myself and bitching up myself i was like i want this so i gonna do this and by any means necessary and i had to do what i had to do my budget imagine i tell the videographer which was roland i tell him i had a budget of what 350 mm. and he was like nah you check it out he said he willing to help me but i got to at least make the minimum standard which was at the time 750 ask me how i get 750 in my hand <laughs> ask me how i get <laughs> oh, it it was just the drive how bad you want it how bad you want it mm. how bad you want it i mean i was like but no but me can't come back on the scene like no like no like no skimpy person that me gotta come back hard mm. and then sellers the video was made everything was shot and you, you were satisfied with it I was satisfied with it. Of well, course, I know there was, yeah. there is always room for improvement because perfection is an illusion. Right. You can only go forward and progress. Mm-hmm. Progress always beats just the idea of having an idea. Enough people stuck in an idea phase, you know? And I was stuck in an idea phase too. That's why I could tell you, like, progress always gonna beat the idea. You could have the big, you could have the best concept for world, for the world. Fam, but look, unless you actually start look, to look around. do something. Look around you, fam. <laughs> like look around you see where you're there yeah man you see you see what happening here this is progress progress this is what progress look like this is what starting looks like and people keep keep keep, keep on coming on my dm come and ask me what to do me keep on i tell you start from just start just start you no matter where you right start now, from right now my favorite song i want a song from um one youth named gifted hands why not start I mean, I'll make you hear that song in the interview then. Like, yeah. why not start from? The youth have one hand. Like, him t- one eye hand, them who could not chop on there. So, like, a small Like, he got, like, he almost on a cast in a sense. Like, he born with one hand. He's oh, deformed. Born with it. Okay, then. That's like what you mean. And the song where the youth sings, like, that's my motivation from when me I go edit every day and I'm a car that play. Why not start from? You have to start. Anything you anything you want to do, starting is imp- is important. Yeah. Whatever you have, start. Isn't it? So yeah, what kind of reception you get for the video there? But yeah, man. So the reception to Braff, the music video, it was amazing. You check it out. Mm. The first I had to create on your Instagram because I had an old one. Mm. I tell the story in my story time so I could say no and just get it out the way instead yeah. of got people wondering I had an old Instagram this one had tons of followers etc etc no mm-hmm. contrary to the popular belief that people think oh your boy followers and this and that let me tell you exactly what I do Instagram you're not really supposed to do it you check but you have this way where you can meet certain people and in terms of getting money fast mm-hmm. it's something called flipping accounts I mm. basically started the account as like a meme page and then I bill it, bill it, bill it, bill it, bill it, bill it, bill it until you reach a certain place because people like memes. You check it out, people people would follow you just because you have a meme page. They don't even care, they just want to know they could go to something they could relate to and then just pull from that every day. Let me build a meme page, bill it until you reach a good one and I transform it into my personal page. Right. That's your sturdy release and all of that there. Mm-hmm. Transform it to a personal page, the reception from them kind of times things was good and what's not but i had to go start over because the page get hacked 
Like he was he was bound to happen at some point. The page get hacked. Check it out. Yeah. End up, yeah. End up delete the page after you hack and what's not. Take wait, a little while. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I think I was distracted. Let me spot part of this. So oh you see a girl on Instagram again? As a meme page. Oh, 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 yeah, yeah. yeah. Then they just fuck f- done with the meme them. Yeah, they just done the memes them and then I turn it over to a personal page. Then that's when other people know follow this page and yada yada yada. So the whole boy follower stigma, it wasn't there. But what happened is that no, I heard somebody who was on the interview before came and they tried to allude to the idea of promotion and marketing themselves, but they say it in a wrong way. Big up, Blizzard. Yeah, big yeah, up, man, yourself, big Blizzard. Up. Yeah, yo, Blizzard, a star, you know. Hey, the love, Blizzard, you know. Big up the dogs, the love, still. Bo- bo- <laughs> hey, the lo- hey, the love, Blizzard, you know. Hey, chuck, yeah. Yeah, yeah man, but, but, but me know, mm. this is where I said, you know, I had to make some mistakes. Check yeah, when yeah, I released yeah, yeah, Sturdy. Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, I was in the process of releasing Sturdy. This page messaged me, and, you know, they was like, oh, they could guarantee me, you know, the boost in this the boost in the streams and the boost in the followers and the views and so on it's like okay then me decide okay is help coming to me so let me see if i could take the help now me now i wasn't using a sense of discernment so my fault for this now mm. the man back the account so that's when the account shoot up to like what seventeen thousand followers from ten thousand to 17 i was like ah uh, something something not feel right something not feel right you check now my message naya jenaya now she is actually an instagram influencer straight from nevis right here janaya check mm-hmm. it out my message and ask like if people could buy your account or if people could send followers to your account even if ain't you do it she said yeah all mm-hmm. they need is just your username and then they could put it in the system and then you just run mm-hmm. she's when i was like oh so i was like okay then let me go see how i could rectify this went to the instagram and let them know what happened and what's not they said they can't do nothing about it but what i could do is kind of be inactive on the account for a while and then things gonna start to kind of go back to how they was slowly so you still have them all people followers there no man i tell you the account get hacked oh. so that was it there and then to be honest i didn't really took care too much because the account just had too much shit going on with it dog <laughs> it had too much shit from the time somebody bought your account your account done Excuse the expletive, but your account done fuck. Right. From somebody hack your account, your account done fuck. So it's like I was just still trying to hold on to a piece of faith. Right? So when he get hacked, I was like, but too much fuck going on with this man. Let me just delete the account and let me take a little while. Make a next one. Mm. Come back now. This is the account I have currently. Mm. I start off, Mr. Well, I mean, you know how they are, so you gonna do it, but I gonna do something. Mm-hmm. I check I gotta come back to music. And this time, I got more experience than what I had before. So let me see where I get now. Mm-hmm. I released the reel for the video, as in like the teaser. Send it out on WhatsApp. The reception was amazing. Like I tell you, amazing. When I say amazing, amazing, yeah. my boy. Like yeah, yeah. I see the shares. I was like, wow. Mm-hmm. People actually like this. You yeah, because it because it's is. You see, we live in a small community, Zane, and this small community, what people don't understand and what even blizzard fail, failed to understand you see if you do something that's of quality here it's easy because everybody knows everybody especially in nevis everybody mm. knows everybody here so once you do something pe- and people could identify with it people find entertainment in it or feel like it's something good mm. it, it has spread it will be known isn't me? so it's just a matter of being consistent putting out quality stuff and that's facts isn't it so it was a good quality song so people gonna share it once you send it to them they're gonna share it and then they realize a video coming for it and now we kind of bring back the interest again so it's like yeah. yo when i tell you i share the real and i see people start to repost like i just say repost on whatsapp because you know when yeah, you release yeah, a song yeah, yeah. you're gonna always tell people like comment and share but what are the odds of people actually like comment and share some people might share it but they don't even watch it check mm-hmm. so what are the ads but then when it come to instagram it's a different energy because you know they got to actually like comment and share yeah, for them yeah, things yeah, to go yeah, through and yeah, i realized a yeah. hundred and something reshares i gained a couple more followers and i was like the reception on then when the video drop i just let people know please share the video you check it out like comment and share mm-hmm. you check it out and i send that there to instagram as well because the one thing i like to do with instagram now is just push reels you check it out mm-hmm. instagram run by the short farm content now so similar to tiktok 
do you better take notes yes, yeah, perspective man, for all the artists them take notes yeah because me, me notes. i get a couple gems yeah i mean i get everything but couple gems that the perspective media man and i learned this from the whole account and all so it's Third, like uh, 30 seconds give them one 30 second man then dead <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So, um, <clears throat> the man, so I share it up yeah, and yeah, then I yeah. let people know, share the video, share the video. Mm. An hour after the video release, main dangers tagged you in a post. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dog! You feel only Jamaica alone artist, dance all artist, but check that you if I'm saying this, Miss Swipe, Miss see me fucking video, dog. Exactly. You see my video, dog. Seven. Mm. Hey man, see my skin a me blast it, yeah, dog. Up and down the stairs, they make me house like me stupid, but my skin a burning. Man, they just post me thing, dog. Mm. Bye. I went from five hundred and something followers to a thousand two hundred in two days, and majority of them, a lot of them come from saying it. A lot of them come from Jamaica. Mm-hmm. But I realize a few people come from Antigua. Guyana, Belize, Virgin Islands. I was like, I reach in places. Mm-hmm. I reach in places. Some people from Jamaica message me. I can't really say who, but some people message me. Like, keep it up, you're watching. Things going up. I was like, I go in places. I check it out. And then I just stay. And I was like, okay, then why come at my next move? All that didn't happen. Why couldn't know to capitalize on this? Mm. said the only thing you're gonna do right now in my head all i hear in my head is like just don't stop mm. don't drop the ball you're done come out before if you come out again kiss it goodbye mm. understand hey much people they get a second chance so the fact that you even get it and you come back harder than you was even before look in the mic talk in the mic most people don't get a second chance and the fact that you get that and you come back even harder than you was before mm. capitalize remember what messiah don't tell you remember what you believe in yourself remember people out there watching social media is a tool you know how to use it mm. don't stop me say okay then make a rasta freestyle and valiant mm. me tell my brethren but me just had a feeling me tell my brethren me say yo valiant gonna see this mm. and i was like oh, yeah, talk. i said bye i said watch it i said valiant gonna see it me send it in the trap house group chat because you know as a record label we got a group chat there to talk and say what we do in our snap i send it out before he come out then me hear some of them and say bah oh you had to remix the dance all song by like nobody really did remix the dance all song and saying but me had me not even meds like that me said this ain't gonna be my best song yeah i said this year gonna be a move to show you that I know how to make things happen, and then me just leave it. Mm. Me release it. Then me say tag Valiant in this. Cut. Watch your made no promotion. The day before I release it is when I put it up and say I gonna release it. So made no promotion for it, nothing. And it's just a visualizer anyway. Mm. You know what I mean, so me just release it. Two hours after release, Valiant music has liked your post, and ain't even just that. The man went on my page, like other posts. And I was like, God, I work. I said, God, I work. All you need is faith in yourself. You need quality music and you just need the drive. You need to know what your moves going to be. You need to plan your moves. You can't go aimlessly. And as you say on the last interview, nobody is an overnight success. It's 10 years behind that before. <laughs> no, the end of the last. That's a far. By the time that one release, like by the time this release, because this going to be in me. Yeah. People are watching me. Remember for subscribe people. But <laughs> the by the time this video is he gone that they're gonna yeah, Okay then, but, but you yeah. want your interview them you end up saying mm. nobody is an overnight sex success it takes ten years before that, before you come up to anything and watch me. I done years into this thing now years and me still not even scratch square one. I don't know, me just a one two until I could actually three four, so me just a try a thing, but I got the knowledge. Yo, you know, you know, throughout, throughout the time you sit down and say I talk to me, I feel like you have the right mentality for me. You listen, you adapt, and you learn to things from me. You see, I'm treating the being able to listen, adapt to circumstances, and make changes and learn from things from me is important in any success story. A lot of people sit down next to me fam. 
successful people from and these elements are key elements towards them story being able to adapt to a situation is very important from isn't me like as a young as a young artist too you gotta have ups and downs naturally you know anything yeah. you do you gotta have ups and downs but being this is being able to adapt and move on from situations and be a better person is very important from isn't me so going forward what can the fans are your supporters expect from Zay? trust me man enough music gonna come and when you see music man producing the hogwash they say in the Zavi from 2018 2019 a whole different sound you check it out i don't know what i need to do mm. if me and papa have, that's my fault right. nobody else one but me right check it out i put in certain things in place i'm making sure i keep recording i invest in myself i got my own studio in my house mm-hmm. check i buy this chill a new laptop like mm-hmm. last year this laptop was ranked the most powerful laptop in the world so that I could show you what kind of laptop i got like i got a beast yeah and i make my own space because i say traveling expenses is too much for me to always be going by the trap house every minute let me be like an extension to that i know how to do certain things do all of that read watch here a lot of people ain't like to read but i could tell you from your start to read you're gonna just guide like ain't even gonna be something about music but just once you start to educate yourself on certain things you're gonna just start to find that you guide because music ain't just music music is life and once you learn life mm. you could ultimately learn how to maneuver through music mm. i ain't a businessman yeah i am a business right you understand jay-z would tell you that he ain't a businessman he's a business man is either you understand that or you don't mm-hmm. you check it out operate as such music gonna always be dropping you're gonna be coming a lot of videos in the works a lot of collaborations in the works as i say meet up with some people from foreign it's just for the just for the thing to pop out i can't say who i ain't gonna give you too much so leave right. it there and that. So, so is there is there aspirations to leave St. Kitts Nevis? Because Byron Messiah had the way, you know. Byron Messiah have the blueprint. Of course. Have the floor plan. And you mm-hmm. see, I would always say that God know why. He put things in the position to happen the way that they happen. Mm-hmm. He know why Byron make it first. Mm-hmm. He know why I had to start over and revamp. He know why certain things had to be put in place that the way they are. Mm. you check it out because before anybody had boss and make it i was a confused you that like, i was wondering like but how people do this how people do that how this happened how that happened and i believe the difference between me and boy and it's just that boy never used to overthink it he just used to go he just used to one do. start from and i had to start exactly one start i never exactly stopped. and it's that because it's i always used to be in my head and that's when i take, remember i said i always used to be like an ideas person mm-hmm. i had concepts but i never used to bring them out and boy one just used to bring out you never he almost that's had look man. he almost had look like the man wasn't even right. trying just the way ask how he looks i just ask because i see how effortless this look i know effort this look. before you come here before you come here you could have imagine say so i should no all right let that man show you from <laughs> let that man show you from the Isn't man just it? start and we god start. put me in a position to watch where he start from scratch go roll it up and yo, he me, said remember m- yo me have a g in kadu shout out kadu mm. kadu always tell me luck favors the prepared isn't it luck favors the prepared and if you don't understand that we can i can explain it to you <laughs> luck favors the prepared fam if you know so you tell, just know tell the people what they can find up on social media fam instagram g4e zavi g4e x a v i e e that's it mm. facebook just zavi x a v i e e youtube g4e zavi all platforms g4e zavi yeah my people except for facebook yeah man, you don't and know. that's that you don't know people remember for like share and subscribe and yes. comment too say what you feel you understand yeah, trust right, me it goes right, a real. long way yeah the comments needed yeah the comments been lucky man. Really. the comments been lucky actually before yeah. anybody style me actually before anybody style me i want to say this now <laughs> i want to say this now <laughs> so yeah me not then away me i want to till me could three four so i know nobody know me but in the near future ah you must know me but you will have force understand so that is all me no nobody know me but just wait on the premium you gotta start from nothing 
before you could be something. Start small, end big. All right. Don't watch where you be right now. Focus on the end goal, the end right. game. You understand? Right. That's it. So people, until next time, remember again, subscribe to the thing. You're the joy of this. Hoy, and I said nobody now believe it. <laughs> well, if they me say I me I beat it. Me and the pastor, me not go preach it to how we all it down. Yeah, man, it's Dejo, you know what I mean? Giving you a different perspective on Perspectives Media. Here's it. Perspectives Media.